everybody, Nate Lee here, and I've got some cool uh, jazz intro to jazz chord stuff for you today. Uh, by the way, if you notice things look different, uh, like my light's missing or a, uh, well, you can't quite see it, but a step stool leaning against the wall and all that, um, that is because I am moving. So if you have a guess where I'm moving, drop that in the comments. I'll let you know if you're hot or cold. Uh, so uh, anyway, things are going to be a little more sparse in my studio till then, uh, but uh, I will keep making videos every week and I'll do my, I'll do my best not to miss a week uh, as we go through the moving process. We're moving in a month. So I've got some cool swing chords for you. And uh, I had put out some videos, one about intro to blues chords and one about blues, the basic uh, blues strum pattern. And some folks had asked about jazz chords, uh, if I could do some intro to jazz and swing chords. So I'm going to show you some basic swing chords that also act as an intro to jazz chords uh, because of the overlap in the chords that are used. And uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with them. If you have not already watched the intro to blues chords video, it doesn't hurt to go and study that one, but you don't have to go watch that before you watch this one. So we're just going to jump right in and get started. Uh, we're going to use Lady Be Good as our chord progression for practicing some of these chord shapes. And we're going to start with some just really basic Lady Be Good chords. Uh, now, Lady Be Good, I think, is in Strum Machine. I'm going to check it out. Um, a lot of you are using Strum Machine. If you're not, it is really good. Okay, it is not in Strum Machine. So here's what you can do is... If you email me at hello at plainately.com, I will send you a link to Lady Be Good. I'll make a strum machine file for it and send it to you. Uh, so that's hello at plainately.com, and I'll get my assistant to put that right down here somewhere uh, before posting the video. Uh, so if you want to email me there, I'll send it to you. If you don't know what strum machine is, it's that backing track you see me using. Uh, there was actually a... Uh, video recently where you can, if you look at the Play Nately YouTube channel, it's called the All Purpose The Gerald Jones Lick. You can see me using Strum Machine on there and it's fantastic. It's a really great backing track tool. So I've got a link down below. Um, if you decide to sign up, please use my link. It helps me out a little bit. All of my students use Strum Machine and I use it pretty much every day myself. So check it out. It's pretty cool. So what we're going to do here is go through the basics for the Lady Be Good chords. We're not going to get into all the fancy things. We're just going to start with the ones that you need to know. And this will cover you for most swing situations in the key of G. So we're going to start out with G6. And we're in the key of G, so G is our one chord. And in swing music, anytime you have a one chord, pretty much anytime you can play a 1-6 instead. So instead of G, we can play G6. So that is going to be middle finger to four on the G string, index finger to two on the D string, and ring finger to five on the A string. And then you may see my pinky hanging out here. It is just muting the E string. It's not playing notes on this chord. It's just muting the E string. Whatever way you do it, don't let the E string ring out on this chord because it doesn't match tonally to the other notes. So that's your G chord. Make sure to watch the uh, Intro to Blues Strum Patterns video on my Play Nately YouTube channel to learn the strum pattern I'm doing. And uh, there's a couple versions of it. I don't remember which one I taught on that video. Uh, so then we're going to need a C6, our four chord. On a four chord in swing music, you can usually substitute a four six. So our four chord is C, we're gonna play C6. And the way we're going to do that is put your index finger on the second fret of the G, ring finger on the fifth fret of the D, and middle finger on the third fret of the A. And we're going to not play the E string just like before. By the way, if you've noticed something weird about that G6 I was playing a moment ago, drop it in the comments. There's something very strange about it. Bonus points if you can tell everybody why G6 and E minor 7 are the same chord. All right, so that's our C6. And now we're going to go to C sharp diminished. So in swing music, it's really common to have a four chord. And then Joe Carr used to always do this for sharp four diminished. So four chord. 
Sharp four diminished. He was better at it than I was. Uh, that's a really common chord change. And this shape we're gonna go to is middle finger to three on the G string, index to two on the D string, ring to four on the A string, and then again, muting the E string. That's C sharp diminished. Now we can return to G6. We need a five chord, so that's going to be uh, D7, and we're gonna play middle finger to five on the G, index finger to four on the D, and ring finger to five on the A. And then we just return to G again, or G6, I guess I should call it, because it is a G6. And that gives you an A part to Lady Be Good, and we're just gonna do the A part today. Uh, there's some cool stuff to be done in the B part that we might do next time. And your chord progression now sounds like this. It's G6, C6, C sharp diminished, G6, D7, G6. And by the way, if you want to, before going to C6, you can start with G6. And then if you leave everything the same, except push that index finger up to the third fret of the D string, it becomes a G7. So you can go G6, G7, C6. C sharp diminished, G6. D7. Last one, if you want to, you can grab a five on the E along with everything else. And now you've got four, two, five, five. It's kind of cool too. Like that. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Feel free to ask questions down in the comments or to put topic requests. Sometimes I lose track of the topic requests, so it's okay to ask more than once if you haven't seen your topic come up. Bug me, squeaky wheel gets the grease. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to this channel, click the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And if you're watching this on Facebook, then follow this page. Click that like button for the algorithm and share to share this with your friends. And if you want to sign up for a strum machine, use my link below. You get 30 days for free. And of course, come join my Facebook group. I answer questions there every week. Link down in the description. All right. Bye, everybody.